Well, we just got done fishing this creek. You know, it's a pretty big creek and there, and there is some fishing here. It's just a matter of timing. Um, but, you know, looking across the lake, there's a, there's a main rock, kind of a chunk rock wall with some laydowns on it just outside of a major spawning creek uh, across the way here. So we're gonna run out here and maybe, maybe more of the active fish are setting up on the, on the main body type structure waiting to move into those spawning areas. I'm gonna run over there, uh, throw a little crankbait down those chunk rock, pitch a jig in the, in the main body lay down wood and, and see what happens. You know, a lot of times it's just a matter of, of time of day when those fish in, inside those creeks that are, that are willing to, to bite, you know, get triggered. So we keep a positive attitude and keep, keep plugging away and see if we can figure out what these fish are doing. Okay, we just got over here to this main body chunk rock wall. I mean, it's, it's a great little spot just because there's a major spawning grounds right behind us. So there's a good chance, you know, some of these fish are setting up out here. And, and uh, one of my favorite crankbaits this time of year has always been a crawfish. And this is just a little MR60 jackal. And, uh, you know, kind of kind of trying to figure out what's going on here. You know, a lot of times, you know, you got to do things a little different than you'd planned. Um, you know, these fish could be a little far behind than I thought, than I think. Um, you know, but a, a crankbait's a good way this time of year to cover a lot of water and, and kind of figure out where the fish are setting up. So, just gonna crank down through here and there's also some really nice laydowns right here on this wall that uh, you might be able to catch one out of. You know, if the, if the water was a little bit dingier um, I'd be throwing like a chartreuse and blue or a fire tiger crankbait. Seems like those those colors right there, you know, in the in the early spring like that, you know, they trigger some really good fish to bite. But since we have a little bit a little bit better wa water clarity, you know, a natural looking crawfish, that's the ticket. You know, when I'm fishing a, a shallow crankbait like this MR60, um, you know, the the key factors that I'm looking for are you know, the deeper water or secondary points or little chunk rock walls that are close by the spawning grounds. And, and those fish will sit out there and stage. And a lot of times, you know, they won't bite a, a worm or a jig or something like that. And, and you can throw a natural looking crankbait like this and catch those fish. Um, you know, the, the line, the pound test line that I, that I throw kind of depends on the water clarity and how deep I want to fish these baits. You know, today I wanted it to get down to like 10 to 11, 12 foot right in that area. So I'm throwing 10 pound, 100% fluorocarbon uh, by trilene. And the reason I'm throwing fluorocarbon is because, you know, the line sinks and I want to get that bait as deep as possible to bang and deflect off of anything that's down there. You know, the stumps or the rocks or, or whatever the situation may be. Um, you know, if the water was dirtier and I was, say, throwing a square bill crankbait or, you know, even a shallower a SR, uh, jackal crankbait, I'd probably be throwing like 15 or, you know, even monofilament like 12 or 15. So, you know, kind of, kind of let the conditions tell you what's right for, for the crankbait, but it's definitely a player this time of year. Um, I'm throwing it on this Powell 753 glass rod. And actually I, I just got this rod probably six months ago and it's fastly become one of my favorite smaller crankbait rods. Just because, you know, you could throw these things a mile. They're a lightweight bait, but with the action of this rod, you can throw them. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't cause you to backlash. And once you hook a fish, you know, it's got real good, it's got a real soft tip, you know, but enough backbone to land those fish and you're not gonna lose them because it's too stiff or you're pulling the hooks out. And I'm just putting it on a, a Revo Premier, you know, the new Revo, Revo Premier for this year. And, you know, just, you gotta cover a lot of water, but when you find, you generally when you get one bite say off of a off of a secondary point with rocks on it you can run that pattern throughout the lake with a crankbait and you'll catch them all right we just moved locations and, and basically what we got here is a little deeper creek um you know there's 40 50 60 foot out here in this creek and it's the real sharp walls and and i've tried with with no success throwing reaction baits and stuff so Another great bait this time of year to throw for, you know, slower presentation and just see if those fish are in these areas and they're just not biting a reaction bait. We're just going to go ahead and throw a Cinco just kind of down this bank. You know, there's some toolies. There's these little flat running.